Today, I have four ways to improve your weak foot so it can go from looking like this to looking like this. If you're ready, let's jump in. Let's begin with juggling. One of the most basic skills, but also one of the most essential. For this session, we aren't going to worry about the amount of times we can keep it up, but only making quality contact with the ball each time. Single leg juggling. Begin with the ball in your hand. Work on hitting the ball with your laces and catching it each time using your weak foot only. Keep your toe pointed forward with your knee bent and get as little spin as possible making contact through the center of the ball. If you're doing it correctly, you should be able to catch the ball easily every time. Next, try increasing your juggling by one repetition each time you strike the ball. So one, two, three, four. Work your way up as high as you can without dropping the ball using only your weak foot. If you drop it, begin at one all over again. Keep trying to beat your previous score. Finally, mix in both feet by alternating your touch every time you strike the ball, keeping it up as many times as you can. The second way to improve your weak foot is to dribble as much as possible using all surfaces of your foot. You can set up two cones and work back and forth doing simple exercises like figure eights, weaving in and around the cones continuously using the inside and outside of your foot, sole rolls, using the sole of your foot to work past the cones up and back, Inside outsides, chopping the ball side to side using the outside and inside of your feet to keep a defender off balance. Roll cuts, combining a roll and a quick cut outside to shift in and out of space quickly. Ball mastery. For balance, footwork, and skill development on your weak foot, you can add in some ball mastery along with the dribbling. Here's some simple ones to try. The pull push. Sole rolls. Single leg Vs. For more ball mastery moves to help with your ball control, you can check out my other videos as well. The third way to develop your weak foot is to find a wall or rebounder and use it to get in as many touches as possible. Working with a partner or teammate is great as well, if that's an option. The more quality touches you can get on the ball, the faster you're going to see results. Two touch passing. Practice two touch passing with that single leg only, keeping your shoulders over the ball and your plant foot near the ball with your toe pointing to the target when you make contact. Lock the ankle and follow through each time. One touch passing. Next, work on your one touch, trying to go as many times as possible without a bad touch. Keep the ball on the ground using the same technique as before. Make sure to stay on your toes so you can adjust to the ball without losing balance or rhythm. Take things a step further, play the ball off the wall, then use your weak foot to turn and dribble around the far cone. Practice different turns using the inside, outside, and sole of your foot, just like you would in a real match. Last, play the ball off the rebounder or wall in the air and collect it with your weak foot. Begin with the basics, then challenge yourself with a directional touch as if you're escaping a pressure from the defender. Four, shooting. To play with full confidence and score more goals, you should be able to strike with both feet. You don't have to be perfect, but if you train with both legs, chances are you'll have more success when opportunities arise in games. If you're just starting out, Focus on driving a ball into a net or a goal and only worry about making good contact. 
Use the laces of your foot to impact the center of the ball, very similar to the juggling exercises we did earlier. Keep your body over the ball and plant your foot next to the ball as you strike, locking your ankle through the entire motion. Practice this as often as possible until it starts to feel natural. Next, take a cone and place it about 10 yards from goal. Use a quick dribble and any feint or fake you like, then drive the ball into the goal. Once again, focus on quality contact and when you're ready, you can start to aim for the corners. Lastly, get creative. Incorporate some dribbling, ball control, or turning, and end with a strike on goal. Keep challenging yourself and get as many repetitions as possible while maintaining quality. So there it is, four ways to improve your weak foot. Remember, there's no magic pill or secret. All it is is continuous training and practice. So stick to it and I hope you get results. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit subscribe. I post weekly videos, workouts and training tips. I'll see you on the next one.